let's just ignore the fact that I accidentally put a lot of makeup on today. <laughs> As you can tell from the title, today's video is not the most fun. <laughs> it's the dreaded time of year. I need to submit my tax return and I decided this year to film the process and talk you guys through it because I get a lot of questions about it. Hopefully teach you a few things and how you can do your own and yeah, let's go. So this year for me is actually the first year I will pay tax. In previous years, I've not earned enough money to be taxed so this year was a little bit different for me and it was very very daunting so i actually went over to skillshare on skillshare alongside different courses in like photoshop graphic design all the stuff i've spoken about before they also have like business related stuff so they have things on entrepreneurship finance accounting and obviously right now accounting is what i'm doing and i actually use a software called quickbooks as well and they have courses about quickbooks um and how to use that successfully to record your tax so the lovely people over at skillshare have actually given me a treat for you guys so the link down below will give you a two month free premium membership to skillshare so with that membership you get access to all the classes all the workshops and you get to trial skillshare completely for free so whether like me you are trying to do your accounts or you're just starting up and you want to learn some new skills then you can head over to skillshare and find the perfect class and creative community for you the first 500 of you guys to click the link in my description and claim the two month free premium subscription will get a free premium subscription <laughs> That was a very long-winded way of me saying that, wasn't it? Basically, be quick, because it's only going to be for 500 of you guys. I am going to now talk you through how I managed to do my accounts yesterday, thanks to the help from Skillshare, and we're going to we're gonna get it done. Hopefully, I can help you guys out and make this less daunting. As I mentioned, I use QuickBooks to do my accounts, and QuickBooks is basically an online service that helps you keep track of money that comes in from your business and money that goes out for your business. I highly, highly recommend QuickBooks. I think it's like £7 a month for the self-employed one that I have and it's so, so worth it because it's just made this whole process so much easier. In previous years, I had a spreadsheet and I would record. I tried to do it every month, but I always got really far behind. Um, and I'd record my income in, so what I'd earn in my business. And then I'd record anything that I spent to aid my business. So like printer ink, paper, uh, a new camera battery, a tripod, stuff like that. Those are things that I can claim as an expense. And if you want a little bit more of a breakdown on how to do your accounts, I do have another video on it, which I will leave kind of on screen and in my description. When I was filing my tax returns, I went into QuickBooks and because QuickBooks constantly records and monitors my bank accounts, basically, I already knew that it was pretty much sorted and ready to go for when I needed to file my tax return. So I just went through my existing expenses, checked that they were all going into the right system. And if I show you now, you can categorize things as business or personal. So as this bit of an example, so I have my iTunes, uh, Spotify subscription, which I've categorized as personal. And then underneath, I went to Morrison's and bought an Easter egg. Uh, and I will categorise that as personal because obviously I can't claim an Easter egg as a business expense. Um, and then I'm just transferring money between myself. And then I got an Etsy payment. So I have an Etsy store and this classes as part of my business income. So because it's in green, that's income. And I'm going to click business and then it categorizes itself into business income. So yeah, it's really, really easy. I check it like maybe once a week and after a while it kind of learns your habits and it will recognize what websites are business and what websites aren't. Um, but you do need to go through and check them, but honestly it's the quickest thing ever and I've never known anything so simple. Um, you can also record your mileage. So if you drive for your business, you can put your mileage into it and it will work out because you get like a 45 pence per mile deduction off your tax I believe so definitely look into that I didn't know that was a thing and I've been self-employed since I was 16 which is like 
six years now oh my god that's weird but yeah once you've done the basic kind of framework of your taxes quickbooks will put it all into a document so i'm gonna blur out the figures because obviously it's personal to me but it gives me a self-assessment summary for the whole year so this is my tax year that has just ended and at the top it says what my turnover is so this is the complete amount of money that i have taken in as a business this year so underneath are my business expenses so in my expenses are things such as printer ink paper tripods uh i don't know a desk for my office Stuff like that you can categorise as an expense. Anytime that goes in and out of my bank account, I will put it down as a business expense. So in here it categorises like various petrol costs under Bella, which is my car's name. Yes, my car has a name. Um, and then phone bills, advertising. I do a few different advertising things on like Facebook and Etsy, so that goes through there. Um, and then different subscriptions. So obviously I pay for my website every year. That's a business expense. And basically, it adds up a total sum of what your business expenses are. So for example purposes, if I took in £20,000 worth of income from my business and I spent £5,000 of that money on business related things, business expenses, then I deduct that and then I've got £15,000 left. So that £15,000 is what the tax man is looking at. That's what you're going to get taxed on. Um, and you do have a personal allowance so I think you can earn up to like 11,000 or 12,000 pounds before you get taxed so because I've only got 15,000 pounds in my little pot after I've spent my money um, I'm only going to get taxed on like that 3,000 pounds so the tax man will take 20% of that 3,000 pounds I really hope that makes sense because it confuses me. So now because QuickBooks has worked that out, you can obviously do that yourself. Like I said, for the past few years, I've done it myself. I did it in a spreadsheet and I just literally went down my bank account, checked my ingoings, income in against my outgoings and then worked out that figure. I'll go onto the HMRC website, which pains me, I'm not gonna lie, it pains me. So what I did, I went over into self-assessment and because I have already registered as a freelancer, self-employed person, I already have an account. If you haven't got an account, you can sign up and I think it does take a couple of weeks for it to all register, so don't leave it too late. Um, because I think they have to send you passwords and stuff through the post. So once I've signed in, it says at the top that I have to submit my taxes for the year 2018 to 2019. And I actually have until January of 2020 so to, to, to submit it. So I am incredibly eager submitting them literally two days after the tax year ends. But I just wanted to pay my bill and get it over and done with. And hopefully because I'm uploading this video now, you guys will know way in advance. The HMRC website will ask you a bunch of different questions and obviously these will differ depending on your situation and your circumstances so it'll ask if you're single if you take any child benefits if you're a carer stuff like that it'll ask you questions and it's all tick boxed and what I actually really find so helpful is that there is a little kind of circle next to all the questions with a question mark can we not there's a little circle with a question mark on it and if you click that it will define what it means it'll break down that question because there are so many terms in accounting that no one at school ever taught me and then you go down and it creates an online form with the various sections that you need based on the answers you gave to the to the previous questions i didn't actually realize how hard this is to explain out loud so once i've got my little form i go through it i'll fill it in with my name ow my name uh my national insurance number my address all that kind of stuff and you basically categorize all the different earnings and then there's one section which is the most important bit which is the figures on your income and your net profit so that's what the tax man works it out from. So I filled all that in and I literally just looked at my QuickBooks document that I saved on my laptop and I copied the numbers over and because the QuickBooks had worked it all out for me, I didn't need to do anything else and it was great. And then obviously I have my tax bill. Let's pretend it's £1,000. Actually no, let's pretend it was £2,000. The tax man wants me to pay £2,000. You don't have to pay that money instantly. 
um, you've got a certain amount of time to pay it. I will leave some more information down below about the dates and stuff, but you don't have to pay it instantly. You've got quite a while to pay that, so don't worry. I just wanted to pay it and get it over and done with. So again, I go back into my online profile, waved a very sad farewell to my hard earned money and gave it to the government. Yay! I have now paid my tax bill for the year 2018 to 19. However, a thing I wasn't aware of is that because I am self-employed, um, and if you are also self-employed in the UK, this will apply to you, um, and because this is the first year I will actually have to pay tax, in very simple terms, you kind of pay ahead a year. So they want you to be ahead of your tax bill. So this year my tax bill is £2,000 but in reality I'm going to have to pay three because they like me as a self-employed person to be £1,000 ahead of myself. I did not know this fact until yesterday when I submitted it and it told me that and again I don't have to pay that figure instantly. I have I think I have two dates throughout the year that that bill is due so it's due in £500 chunks throughout the year um, and next year but that's another thousand pounds that no one told me about so hopefully if you are in a similar situation to me and you've not yet been taxed as a freelancer um and you weren't aware of that hopefully now you are so just bear that in mind the first time you pay your tax as a self-employed person it's a little bit of a kick in the teeth it's a bit of a double whammy tax bill because you have the initial figure plus a thousand pounds to keep you ahead which angered me a lot <laughs> i feel like i've rambled a lot but if there are any questions that i have missed um first do go and watch my previous video about kind of submitting your tax return because i went into it in different stages in that video so i might cover something that i've missed today um if not comment down below and i will try my best to answer um have i got anything else to tell you oh the final thing i also do a thing called cash basis accounting um google it i didn't know what it was until recently once again why don't we get taught this at school so yeah that's it if you have any questions like i said please do ask me i will try my best to answer again never been an expert don't think i ever will be but i'm just going to document my journey of my freelance life and hopefully we can learn some things together along the way i hope you've enjoyed this video Hope you've learned a lot and I'll see you soon, hopefully for a more interesting video next time. I don't have to do my taxes for a whole other year.